Oh, yes, 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 yes. It is a very beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning here in Southeast Asia. Good morning to you wherever you are on the globe. You are highly welcome to today's episode. Special one. It is a special day. Yes, at least for once, Chelsea fans, we can smile, we can laugh, we can talk good. I, I just hope we can build on this. It is very important we take the positives out of the game whilst we correct the little, little mistakes that we identify. And we move on. It is a great, great Thursday morning. The Super Eagles of Nigeria also flew last night over the Bafana Bafana of, of, of South Africa. And the Ivorians equally did their job and they are into the finals. The finals of the African Cup of Nations, AFCON, is Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, the host nation. Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, the host nation. That is going to be a great match, great game to watch. Nigeria playing against the host nation. It's going to be tough, but we look forward to it over the weekend. But now, back to Chelsea. <laughs> Let me ask you, who knows whether this team talk, this team talk, as you can see on your screen, this team talk, after training before traveling to Villa, was the turning point in Chelsea's result against Aston Villa. This team talk, is it a team talk? This team talk, that was the turning point before traveling to Villa. Let me hear from you. Because yesterday we witnessed that our boys have the quality. They have the quality to thrive in big stage. What they need is proper structure and tactics that suits them perfectly. Dear friend, I have for you right now the coach's post-match reaction. And I would like you to listen to it. But before then, give me two minutes. Two minutes. Let me run up. Then you listen to the voice of the coach. And I'm asking again, or I'm saying again, yesterday's game, we witnessed that our boys, they have the quality to thrive in big stages or in big stage. What they need is a proper structure and tactics that suit them perfectly. Why did I say this? Tomorrow's tactics, Pochettino, I think he got it spot on. Uh, yesterday's tactics. Yesterday's tactics. Poch got his spot on. Play Madweke instead of Sterling. What do you think? I have been saying this every time. That is high, we, high time we drop Sterling. Sometimes Sterling becomes the problem instead of being the solution. With all his experiences, we saw the performance of Madweke last night. We saw the performance. The runs, the take-ons, the dribbling of Madweke, we saw it last night. I'll be going deep into individual performances and the whole team uh, 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 statistics. Right now, I just wanted to see the coach's post-match reaction. But it is also good for me to point out these few things. You saw Enzo Fernandez and Casaido coming together. They made a midfield tight. Yesterday, the midfield is where we won the game. We dominated the midfield. Benchua coming, leaving the back. Malogusto supporting. Benchua and, and Malogusto and Benchua supporting the midfield in attack. That is what caused the damage to Aston Villa. Honestly, going there, I was not comfortable. I was scared. Those of you who watched my, my first video, my last video yesterday, I was really, really scared. Because what Aston Villa can do in their own home, dear friend, when you go to Aston, Aston Villa, it's never easy for any team. And so I never expected it to go this way. I was scared. I just realized that God got our back. God got our back. And our players, they rise up to the occasion. They rose above our expectation. And they got the job done. Kudos to the player, the players, kudos to the team, kudos to the coach. For the selection yesterday, he got it, Pochettino got it spot on. Nicholas Jackson coming back from AFCON. It looks like even though in AFCON, he didn't have much to do in the AFCON. But in the Chelsea team, I said it the last game we played against uh, uh, who? I said it that. Why was Nicholas Jackson still bench and still in the match? I would have expected Nicholas Jackson to make some runs in that game. Now, look at his statistics here. Nicholas Jackson has scored nine goals for Chelsea in all competitions. This is his first in the FA Cup. This is his first goal in the FA Cup. Seven in the Premier League. One in Carabao Cup. One in FA Cup. 
double Chelsea's lead, he got a second goal for Chelsea. He got a second goal for Chelsea, Nicola Jackson. What a player he's going to be turning up to be. He's going to be turning up to be. Well, enjoy the post-match reaction of your coach. I'll be back in the next few hours with our, all of the game's statistics. I have them ready and I'll be back. I'll see you when you see me. Just enjoy. Listen to the coach carefully and look at the smile on his face finally. I shall be back. Congratulations. You must be delighted with what you've seen today. No, I'm so pleased. I'm so happy. Uh player deserve this type of you know performance I think one was one of the best uh, game that we play on the season yeah so please so please because I seen the connection with our fans and everything was fantastic the support from the fans from the beginning that the, the people and the player uh, feel that um, yeah but but really 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 happy for them you mentioned the connection like you said seeing from the first minutes of the last it was a lovely moment at full time when the players went over and, and celebrated with them wasn't yes, it yes i agree i think that is the connection that we, i was talking yesterday in my press conference that we need to create uh, we need to accept that that is the reality our reality and the team need the support from the from the fans and today thank you again because they were amazing so many brilliant individual performances but how pleased were you with the overall balance of the side today I think it was very good. I think we played really well. I think we enjoy playing football. That is the most important. When you enjoy playing football, the energy is there. And when the talent appears, we have a great, great players. It's only to, yes, to be more consistent in always in a young team. Is, that is the massive <laughs> the challenge. That is the most difficult thing to, that, that happened. But I think we need now to keep this, this feeling and to try to, you know, and to keep improving. You mentioned the young team, average age of 22.8 years in your starting 11 today, but they will gain so much from an experience like this, won't they? No, of course. Uh, we need to, to move on. And Chelsea is not anymore the Chelsea that the, the past. That is a different project. That is why we need the support from the from the fans. We need to understand that we are working really hard to try to create and to provide the team the, the, the good balance and be consistent. I think we have talented players that need time to you know, to be consistent. But I think we are doing a. By the way, with the result or without the result, we know the the, the job that we are doing. And, and we are all together in this and fighting and we are going to, to improve until to the end. We were talking after the, the game in the dressing room and I told that, look, eh, how I believe and you can did uh, the show that you did is because you need to believe more. We need to believe more. No, it's only to work phys in, in the physical condition or in tactical like this. It's, it's about to believe, it's mental. And I think today was... Uh, the game, in the way that we approached the game, was because we were, or we feeling, we feel the the connection in between us, the team, the people. I think that was amazing feeling that we need to keep. Three very good goals, but I have to ask about Enzo's free kick. That was a bit special, wasn't yes, it? Amazing, amazing goal that they scored, and yeah, so happy for him and, and for the rest of the team. Um, yes, fantastic, fantastic goal. And you were talking about the unity, the celebrations from the players with him in the middle I mean that that's kind of what you're looking for that type of spirit isn't it yes it's about uh, yes it's about time it's about time <laughs> maybe he's <laughs> it's, it's about to to talk but the people need to realize uh, but it's normal you know some noises that try to put in a difficult situation